Okay, didn't find a good video on this, so I'm gonna make one. This is a Snapper Pro 52 inch zero turn motor, mower, excuse me. Uh, model number NZMJ23523KH. Your results will vary. Um, I couldn't really find any good videos on changing the blades for these. So this is what I did. This is all I needed. Uh, mini sledge, a 15 16 three quarter inch socket. Um, a little something to clean out a little hole with the nut in it and a long 15 16 wrench. Uh, by the way, this is the I don't have an impact wrench method because impact wrench literally would have taken five seconds, but I'm at my cabin in the middle of nowhere. So this is the uh, manual method. Um, so basically, I lifted it up with my jack, or you can, you know, do whatever. I don't know how you want to lift it up. There's many methods. Some people use a tractor to lift it or whatever. Um, you don't have to the, uh, remove the deck. You don't even have to remove these things. Basically... And I did drop this down a little bit, so it's not all the way up, but also not all the way down. Kind of right in the middle, because you need to get underneath and up top. Up top is uh, the 20 or 15 sixteenths socket. And what I would basically do is, um, this is a standard bolt. It is just a single bolt that goes up into this nut right here. And it's the regular threads. It's not reverse threads because it's got blades on it, which sometimes is the thing. This is a standard righty tighty lefty loosey. So it's tricky when you're underneath, but imagine you're underneath righty tighty. Yes, I know I'm cleaning this next. Righty tighty lefty loosey. Um, and I use this end, not the open end. And, uh, for two of them, I was able to break them free. I just, I torqued these down way too much last time. And uh, so the first two, I was able to break free easily. Um, not, uh, sorry, not easily, uh, very difficult, but I managed to do it. The third one, I actually had to use the sledge. So basically you turn this until this thing is stuck on one of the chains or something, keep it kind of tight. Try to get it to to hold so you're not having to hold it, which sometimes you have to kind of like put some torque on it. See, that dropped as soon as I let go. But if you pull on it tight, it'll generally hold itself. And then just you just need one good solid follow-through hit right on the end of the wrench, and that should pop yours free. Mine eventually did go. So um, another thing with the blades on this, I got the wrong kind. Um, these are actually the old blades here. This kind that I got for the 52 inch snapper are like a tad too big, like a quarter to half inch. And so they rub against the sides and uh, there's a specific blade that is a teeny bit smaller. Um, we actually had a set that the previous owner of the mower gave us. So I ended up throwing that set on and then, uh, I might just grind these down and then balance them. You got to make sure they're balanced, but, uh, that way, you know, I've got all these blades that don't fit. I can make them fit anyway. Um, I think that's it. Oh yes. So for the middle one, sorry, what this is for in the middle bolt. Oh, the mower is actually up high or the deck. Um, the bolt is above this pulley, but there's a recessed area and a lot of crap gets in there. So I actually had to use this to dig in and clean it all out so that I could get the socket over the nut because uh, there was a bunch of crud in there and it didn't allow it to, um, to whatever. I actually do have a question. This is just throwing this out there. If you have this mower, I would love, please, tell me the configuration of you know what i'm gonna drop this down hold on bear with me dropping down it's gonna be much easier i would love to know the configuration you have what is attached to this if anything and this 
pulley has this little tab which has been digging into this belt. Also, this belt has been wearing on the bottom of this little tab. I mean, it just it doesn't seem, and there is a little hole, there's a little tab, you can see it right there, with a hole, is there supposed to be a spring connecting this? I just don't understand uh, how it's supposed to be aligned. I don't, and where is this tab? Is it normally right here? Cause it got bent down, I, I don't know. I'm chewing up belts and I know there's some issue here, but per the parts diagram, I think there's supposed to be a spring. I think there's supposed to be like some plastic clip here. There's like a little piece of something plastic, but if anybody has this mower and can show me that, please make a video, post it on Google Drive, something. I will love you forever. Thanks, bye.